There are two and a half billion people in the world who don't have access to, to what I would really recognize as a, as a toilet, as a good toilet. Before the Sanaji toilet, people were using the pit latrine, which were smelling so bad, poor maintenance, no tissue. And uh, another thing is that people, they use the paper bags. So when you walk around, you see the fishes in the paper bags just thrown all over. Like I can say, it was not good. And you go to the toilet, there is no, there is no soap or water. You just go to like that and you eat food. You just diarrhea. I learned a lot about the problems by going and cleaning exactly those toilets. So all, all the pit latrines, water flush toilets that clog up because there's no water and there's no way to maintain it. That's the best way to learn about what not to do and how to design a better solution is by looking at things that are broken. If people are sick, they can't work. If they can't work, they can't earn income. If they can't earn income, then they don't have access to clean water, food, education. By just using a little bit of uh, ingenuity uh, and adapting existing solutions and, and, and to create real change, that's what really inspired us to bring Sanergy about. Sanergy makes hygienic sanitation accessible and affordable. We do this by building a dense network of low-cost, high-quality branded sanitation facilities called Fresh Life Toilets. We franchise these to micro-entrepreneurs living in the communities who run them as small businesses. Take the waste out of the community to a centralized location where we then convert it into useful byproducts, namely organic fertilizer and renewable energy. We then sell those products to farms in Kenya to help address the food shortage. It's clean. You can always wash your hands with soap and water. It always has toilet paper available. It doesn't have any flies. It doesn't smell. When there is, they brought for us fresh, right? There is a tissue, water and soap. Now there is no dairy, dairy. There is no children who are being sick. The soap smell like flour. We have 225 franchised Fresh Life toilets. Those 225 units are bringing hygienic sanitation to more than 10,000 people every single day. Those 225 units are owned by more than 100 franchisees, and each one of them is able to generate $1,000 of profit every year for each toilet that they own. To date, we have removed over 900 metric tons of waste from the community. Alex Wikisa has been a Fresh Life operator for the last year and a half, and it's been incredible to watch his growth over that time. When the installation of the Fresh Life toilet came, I can now support myself fully. It was last year when I bought those two toilets and, uh, and I'm proud of those toilets because they are assisting me in many ways such as pay school fees to my brothers and uh, another thing is that I buy clothes so that I can look good. In five years time at home, I'm hoping that uh, I'll own 10 Fresh Life toilets. Right now we're at 225 Fresh Life toilets. Over the next five years, we're going to be serving hundreds of thousands of people. The plan is to put ourselves out of business. You know, that means that we've really tackled this issue. One, we've catalyzed the industry to a, to a place where there are so many other competitors that are providing a service that is so much better than what we could ever provide. That would be our dream for this sector. You know, to the Acuban supporters, first of all, thank you. We are just so appreciative of the fact that you are willing to take the risks to support one of the highest risk businesses in the world. And that's why we do call it patient capital. We are getting there and we can't wait to make all of our collective dreams come true.